so we did it 100 subs 100 people might not be a lot by youtube standards but it is a lot to me so as a thank you i want to give you a piece of polish culture you're probably not exposed to a copy pasta so notorious it spawned a movie adaptation usa might have us beaten to the punch when it comes to penning the constitution but they never made an ivc seals copy pasta movie so ha take that Hollywood. this work of art was also referenced in the witcher 3 Chivi! Caesar Belzen! I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Ponta. The Pike's king of the Ponta. Ah, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty handed. So, this is the piece of culture I want to share with you. Translated to English and read by yours truly with some liberties taken to account for the less than adequate amount of swear words in English. So, without further ado... My father is fanatical about fishing. Having half of your flat cluttered with fishing poles is just the fucking worst. Like once a month, someone steps on a hook or a treble and that shit needs to be pulled out in a hospital because they're jacked. In my 22 years of life, I had to undergo this treatment at least 10 times. A week ago, I went to get some random checkup, and the moment the reception desk lady saw me, she told me to get my shoes off. The second half of the flat is choke fucking full of Polish fishermen, fishing world, super carp, etc. Every week, my father visits every single newspaper stand in the city to gather all the weekly fishing publications. I was dumb enough to teach him about the internet. I thought it would save us some money, but now he not only buys these stupid rugs, but also steers up shitstorms on fishing for us about the best lures or some other shit. He can scream at the screen or just yeet the keyboard out of the window. One time, my father pissed me off so much that I made an account to troll him by posting stuff like, uh, Krusha said shit, mom couldn't keep up with cooking bigos to calm his ass down. Oh, and he already has a rank of catfish for 10,000 posts. When it's warm, he goes fishing every goddamn weekend. I've been eating fish for dinner for the past five years and he won't shut the fuck up about the benefits of eating this watery shit. When I got into college, old man kept talking for a whole week how I'm so smart because there's a lot of phosphorus in the fish and my brain works better. Blech. Every Sunday, him and his Palmyra quake up the whole family at 4am when they pack the rods, make sandwiches and so on. When eating, he keeps fucking talking about fish and every time he derails and talks about the Polish Fishing Association, making himself mad and getting buttered of a oh, they don't repopulate the fish enough, they just steal the nice... Ugh. He gets all red and gets up from the table to read the Great Sweetwater Fish Encyclopedia to calm his ass down. Last year, he bought himself an inflatable boat for Christmas. Of course, he couldn't fucking wait and unpacked it in the day before and inflated it in the living room. He put on his whole fishing suit and sat the whole day in a goddamn bowl at the middle of the room and ate the dinner, a carp, in it. If every single fishing pond was within my arm's reach, I would slam them against the floor one by fucking one. Uh, when I was in primary school, old man took me fishing with him as a birthday gift. Thanks, Kant, what a great gift. We drove to the middle of the fucking nowhere and when we approached the lake, his eyes started shining and he started licking his lips like he's horny for all these goddamn fish. He set up all the gear and we sat there and watched the floats. I got bored after 5 minutes, so I turned my discman on and father dearest promptly hit me over the head with a rod, co cause the fish can hear the music from my fucking earphones and get scared or some shit. I wanted to scratch my ass and he started quietly shouting to stop moving because the fish can see me from the water and run away. I had to sit there and watch for 6 hours like I was in some fucking Guantanamo. My birthday's in November, so it was cold as a motherfucker too. After some time, my dad got up and walked several meters to fart in the forest. Told me you need to do it away from the water or the fish will hear it and smell it. I already told you that my dad has a fishing pal called Mirek. Previously, his brave companion was a man called Zbyszek. Guy shaped like a ball with a mustache, wearing a bomber brand vest 365 days a year. They were like brothers, he visited us with his wife Bojena and so on. One day, on my father's birthday, Zbyszek came to get their hehe <laughs> whistle sweat. They got wasted and of course kept talking about fishing. I was quietly sitting in my room when they suddenly started aping out at each other about whether pikes or catfish were better. Don't fucking piss me off, Zbyszek, have you fucking seen a pike, Steve? Chomp! Handgun! Tarek, you stupid asshole! Polish catfish weigh 80 kilograms, your pike can suck their fish dick at best! What the fuck do you know about catfish when you can barely catch a bleak? A pike is the king of the water, like a lion is the king of a jungle! And then they 
started wrestling on the living room's carpet, so me and my mom had to tear them apart. They stopped talking to each other ever since. Last year's Bishop's wife called us to tell he kicked the back end and that we were invited to the funeral. My mom happened to answer, gave her condolences, put the phone down and told that, to which he replied, about fucking time. That's how much he hated him for that catfish. I mentioned the arch nemesis of my old man, the Polish Fishing Association. They became an obsession of his and anytime they mention, say, an earthquake on the news, he just mumbles under his breath how they should, should say something about the fucking motherfuckers from the PFA. He stopped reading non-fishing newspapers because he's in a state of a constant asblast that they never write about PFA scandals or Polish fishing in general. The PFA branch in my neighborhood is run by a certain Mr. Adam. For my old man, that guy is the personification of all ills that the association caused to Polish water areas and that waged a war with him for years. Once, he went to some fisherman meeting where Adam delivered a speech and came back home with a ripped shirt because they had to throw him out of, for the shitstorm he caused. After that failure of a physical confrontation with the powerful PFA armed forces, father started guerrilla warfare on the internet, shitting all over PFA and Adam on local newspaper message boards and so on. He posted some bullshit like, Adam used to be a KGB collaborator, or I saw Adam kink a carab on the road at night, etc. I didn't teach him about Tor, so he ended up tracked down by the police and forced to pay $500 fine for libel. It was fucking impossible to live underneath the same roof as him for a week after that. He kept cursing about the corrupt justice system, PFA, Adam and the whole world in general. According to his bullshit logic, PFA ruled Poland like a sect of Freemasons, pulling strings and making deals everywhere. He calculated how many rods, hooks or boats he could buy with those $500 and got butthurt about all the vanilla lure he could buy with that money, several hundred kilograms. <sighs> Last year, Father Dearest decided he has to own a boat for fishing, because renting is too expensive and everyone else is trying to cheat him. Son, you need to go out into the deep water to catch real fish, that's where the element is. But he could neither afford it, nor did he have enough space to keep it in, because he's not an idiot to play for storage space. So, he made a deal with some other fishermen to buy boat together, and it would stay with some boomer that owned a house and not a flat in a block like the rest of us. Boomer put the boat on a trailer and they decided they'll share the boat or just go fishing together. At first, that cooperation went well, but one weekend dad got sick and couldn't go with them and got super annally annihilated over it. What's more, these friends of his kept calling to tell him that they were catching fish like crazy so he just sat on the sofa red like a bit and hyperventilating from the sheer fucking frustration. Even worse, he had nobody to blame like he loves to do. Finally, he decided that it's unfair that they fish without him if they, if they co-founded the boat, and on a Sunday evening, after the boomers came back from the fishing trip, he suddenly left the flat. After an hour, he comes back and tells me I need to help him with something. I come out and see a car with a trailer and a boat on it. I ask him where the fuck did he get that and he tells me that he stole it from the boomer's front yard because they cheated him and that I have to help him grab it, the boat and move it inside. Of course, he won't fucking listen when I said it would take up the entire living room. Luckily, it wouldn't fit into the door to the stairway, so he decided to leave it in front of the block. We took some chains from the boat and used my backlog to chain it to a lamppost. Old man, satisfied with himself, wanted to go back to his apartment when suddenly two cars with boomer corners appeared because of course they knew where to find the property. A shitstorm out of this world started as boomers screamed like angry chimps at that for stealing the boat and to give it back while that also apes out that he was cheated, he paid $200 and didn't go to fish this weekend. I tried to calm down the situation so that they wouldn't beat the shit out of my dad, cause boy, was it close. <sighs> After a few minutes the situation was as follows. Dad's on the ground, gripping the trailer and screaming he won't give it back. Boomers screaming at him to give it back. One boomer has a broken nose cause he tried to pull that away by grabbing his leg and got kicked with the other one. Two policemen draggled me by his feet and screamed that he's going to the station for assaulting a man. Neighbors looking out of every single window. Mom cries and begs dad to leave the boat and the policemen do not arrest him. Me, satfrog.psd. Finally the police dragged my old man away from the boat, I gave the boomers the key to my bike lock and they took the boat, throwing $2000 in the general direction of my dad and telling him he has to fuck off, never touch the boat again and it's best for him if they never meet at the same fishing spots again. Mom begged the policeman to not arrest dad, the boomer that got his teeth kicked in said he doesn't fucking care for dragging his ass to the police station, he just never wants to see my dad again. My old man, of course, started brewing shitstorms with the boomers on the fishing message boards because they made a special threat to warn others about him. I watched the threat and watched father's pathetic excuses of burner troll accounts. 
Todd 51. Posts 1. This thread was made by some idiots. I have known the user Anon's dad for years now and he's a good man and a great fisherman. They want to cancel him out of envy for his achievements. Then he used these sock puppet accounts to harass people that were his best friends just last week. Anytime any of them started a thread to show what they caught, that just burst the fuck in on one of the accounts to say the fish caught looks like a used condom put out of a river and it's clear to see that OP can't fish for shit. He used the same sock puppets in his own threads to suck his own dick whenever he posted a photo of a fish he caught. Oh, what a beautiful catch, as expected from an experienced hunter. And then he told me and mom to watch how people praise him online. <laughs>